Metal Gear Solid vs. Integral. Both are included in the Master Collection, but what are the differences between each game? And which one should you play first? We're going to get into all that and much more in this video, but before we do, let's talk a little bit about what Integral actually is. Metal Gear Solid Integral released on June 24th, 1999 in Japan for the Sony PlayStation. The easiest and best way to describe Integral is by relating it to what substance is to Metal Gear Solid 2 and what subsistence is to Metal Gear Solid 3. Essentially, it's Metal Gear Solid with bonus features and additions to the core gameplay experience. The difference with Integral compared to those other enhanced versions of the games is the fact that it never released outside of Japan. There are a couple of reasons for this. The first being, the original Japanese version of Metal Gear Solid did not include features that the North American or NTSC UC versions and the European or PAL version included. Features such as adjustable difficulty settings, English voice acting, and some of the fun rewards you get on subsequent playthroughs of Metal Gear Solid. Since Western fans already had these features included in their original releases of Metal Gear Solid, Konami forewent releasing Integral in the West. And yes, there is a PC version of Integral that was released in the West, but we'll talk more on that a little later. The other major addition to Integral were VR missions. These are the 300 plus VR missions those of you who have played the standalone VR missions or special missions discs have experienced. Instead of getting it as a standalone release as fans in the West did, VR missions in its entirety was included as a part of Integral in Japan. Think of Integral as an enhanced version of MGS1 for Japanese fans. Having said that, how is the version of Integral we are getting in the Master Collection, the original Japanese version of Integral, any different than the PC version you can buy on GOG right now? Why is it such a big deal for us fans in the West that we're finally able to play this version? Well, to put it simply, the PC version despite displaying Integral in its main menu is missing quite a few features that make Integral what it is. It's also quite a messy and buggy port despite the graphics looking significantly better to some over the PlayStation versions of Metal Gear Solid. Digital Dialect, the company behind this port, did their very best to give us a decent version of MGS Integral on PC, but there are quite a few noticeable bugs. Suffice to say, this version doesn't hold a candle to the actual version of Integral, which is why having the real version included in the Master Collection is such a huge win for us fans. Now that you know a little bit more about Integral and why it exists, let's talk about why you would play it over the original game. As mentioned earlier, Integral added the ability for those in Japan to select different difficulties when electing to start a new game. It also added an entirely new difficulty exclusive to Integral in the form of Very Easy. This newly added difficulty is almost identical to Easy, with one of the major differences being the inclusion of a silenced MP5 with unlimited ammo the player begins the game with. This is the perfect difficulty for someone who is brand new to the Metal Gear series and only cares to experience the story of MGS1 without really wanting to dive deep into the stealth mechanics or fumble around with the aging controls. You can progress the story and go from cutscene to cutscene much easier and much faster in this difficulty by using the MP5 to basically mow everything down stealthily. If you're playing MGS1 for the story and so you can fully understand MGS2, playing through Integral on Very Easy is definitely an option to consider for your first playthrough of Metal Gear Solid. Now on the other side of the spectrum, if you're a veteran to Metal Gear and have played through Metal Gear Solid countless times, there are still quite a few additions and bonus content here to entice most hardcore fans. New codec frequencies have been added that are exclusive to Integral, including codec frequency 140.07, which is a station dedicated to behind-the-scenes info and commentary by the developers of the game. Codec frequency 140.66 allows you to listen to hidden and alternate music tracks for certain maps that are not available outside of Integral. Along with new codec frequencies, completing the game unlocks new rewards for the player. Completing the game on any difficulty once unlocks a first-person view mode in which the player can go through the game in first-person view. You can even walk around and fire weapons while in this mode. Also unlocked by completing the game once is the alternate round option. This allows players to play through MGS1 with brand new guard patrol routes and it also changes the camera angle for certain cutscenes. This mode's intent is to make the game feel fresh even for those intimately familiar with it. Just like in the original game, completing the main story three times rewards players with the tuxedo outfit for Snake on the next playthrough. Integral takes this even further with alternate outfits for two other characters, but I'll let you unlock those and see them for yourself. And lastly, completing the game with the max rank achieved on any given difficulty, except for very easy, unlocks every single VR mission for the player, meaning you can play any mission your heart desires without potentially having to go through all 300 VR missions first. While so far it may seem like Integral is THE version to play for both newcomers and series veterans once the Master Collection releases, there may be some potential drawbacks to doing so. Primarily the fact that most informational texts found within the game, including weapon and item descriptions, 
are written and displayed in Japanese. This may present itself as a problem for new or inexperienced players since they won't have the knowledge of what each item does or when they should be used. This also means the aforementioned developer commentary codec calls are displayed in Japanese. However, it has been confirmed, just like in the original, that players will have the choice to choose between English and Japanese voice acting for text, cutscenes, and codec calls. Hopefully this also extends to the other text found within the game. There's also the possibility of a trophy list for Metal Gear Solid without the option to earn said trophies in Integral. As of the making of this video, there has been no hard confirmation on trophy lists of any kind for the Master Collection, but it's safe to assume that there will be one and Metal Gear Solid will finally include trophies players can earn. Just keep this in mind if you're a trophy hunter. Regardless of which version of Metal Gear Solid you decide to play through first, I truly hope this legendary game resonates with you and that you enjoy your time with it. One of the very best aspects of the Master Collection, in my opinion, is the ability to go back and forth between each version with pretty much just the press of a button. Remember that much more Metal Gear Solid content is planned and on the way, but if you're new to Metal Gear Solid and want to get prepared for your first playthrough, I have a spoiler-free video covering 10 essential tips for beginners. As always, you guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.